Welcome back everybody. You got a jazz snack here with Mike and I'm really excited to talk with you and share with you this record starting time with Clifford Jordan. This sounds amazing. Go stream this. Just stop the review right now. Go listen to this and then come back please. Uh, this is a crazy good straight ahead album on Jazzland. <laughs> For those that are unfamiliar, Jazzland is a sub-label of Riverside and a lot of the musicians on Riverside will play on Jazzland. Uh, it's produced by some of the same people. Um, yeah, and this is just a great one. So I was getting into Riverside recently because I just don't have that many Riverside records. And I wanted to kind of explore uh, the full Riverside catalog, go through it, pick out the ones that I really wanted, find ones that I could afford, add others to my want list, um, and really just kind of um, have fun with Riverside and Jazzland. So uh, as part of that, this jumped out. So Clifford Jordan, I'm a huge fan of ever since listening to Cliffcraft on uh, Blue Note. That's a 1500 series Blue Note that I highly recommend. Um, I have the Music Matters jazz version of it, which is still available, I believe, on Music Matters um, website. So check it out. It's such a sleeper of an album. So good. Um, so I, I've been a fan of Clifford Jordan. When I saw that he had a lead record with this lineup, Kenny Dorham, Cedar Walton, Wilbur Ware, Albert Heath. I'm getting into the Heath brothers a lot because I've been exploring Riverside. Wilbur Ware as well uh, has a lot of Riverside records. So Riverside is a great um catalog it has uh great sessions um slightly different although there definitely is crossover with the other labels impulse um, prestige and blue note um, but yeah i mean riverside stands alone there's some really great ones there's like a cannibal adderley bill evans one i'd like to get but that's fairly expensive there's a west montgomery record i'd like to get that goes um for quite a bit of money um, but for the most part, that you can find gems. I mean, I've gotten this. I've gotten a um, Jimmy Heath, which is Albert Heath's brother. There's three brothers that um, play on Riverside, and, and you know, I'm sure other labels as well. But Riverside is is a great label. Check them out. And I've and I've said if you've watched my channel, they do not um, reissue Riverside. I mean, there's recently there was the the four Chet Bakers that crafted. Uh, there's obviously the analog productions box set of Bill Evans, but they got a lot of Monk on Riverside uh, and other just like killer sessions. This is a straight ahead session with some awesome, awesome work. I mean, Clifford Jordan and Kenny Dorham are burning on this record. So highly recommend uh, you check this one out. Um, I'm just going to break it down a little bit. So let's look at the cover. You got the handsome Clifford Jordan there looking straight ahead, playing straight ahead. Uh, this was recorded August 1961, so this is a hot, in New York, so it's a hot city day. He's wearing his short sleeves in the studio, laying it down with his buddies. Um, also, if you read the liner notes written by the great Ira Gittler, um, who is a, a prolific jazz critic, so a great person to write liner notes. The one thing that really jumped out that I think is worth mentioning is he talks about his relation, that Clifford... Jordan's relationship with all the musicians, how they've played in the past, how they know each other, what albums they worked on. And it just kind of just speaks to the fact that these guys know each other, they're friends. And that makes the album that much better. I mean, it sounds like they're, they're in the pocket, playing together, swinging hard. There's a couple slow songs like Down Through the Years, that's a Cliff Jordan song, a little slow. And then they do an Ellington, uh, Don't You Know I Care, that's a little slow. But like, it starts off with a Kenny Dorham song, Sunrise in Mexico. Really, I mean, Cliff and Kenny are just exchanging solos that sound awesome on it. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of burning on this. Uh, so if you're into that, which I know you are, you want to check this one out. Um, I got this from Discogs. It was very affordable, definitely worth. This is a Mono 61. I also think there's an OJC of this. Um, pretty sure there is, which is very affordable. So um, that could be a route that you want to check out. Um, but yeah, it sounds great. I'll just talk about the pressing itself. So this is a 1961 Jazzland on the red Jazzland label. Um, so this is on the Orpheum. Uh, this has Orpheum at the bottom. All I'll say is that the, the, the record is heavyweight. It sounds quiet. It plays clean. Um, I would not hesitate to buy one of these Jazzland red with the Orpheum at the bottom. Um, after listening to this one. I mean, it sounds it sounds outstanding. So 
so that's it so check out starting time with clifford jordan and let me know what you think uh is this in your wheelhouse do you want this um is this your style have you um do you have any other clifford jordan records what do you think of him what do you think of riverside jazzland leave your comments and thoughts below remember to like and subscribe and i will talk with you next time thanks <laughs>